Marvel QFX is the best set of all time. Change my mind. No. What is going on everybody? Talks through of Talks through Collectibles back here again today. We're going to continue our little Rittenhouse era run here. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Marvel 75th Anniversary set. Now, um, we're going to head right into the deep dive real shortly. But as always, guys, um, before we begin, help support the channel right down below. Hit that little nice little juicy red subscribe button. Um, give this video a nice little thumbs up. Helps out the channel a lot. So without further ado, let's go. All right, so here we are. We are right back down in the deep dive. Once again, we're going to have a look at the Marvel 75th anniversary set from Rittenhouse. So here we are right here. This is a 90 card base set. Um, wait, is it 90? I, th I think it's 90. Yeah, so it's a 90 card base set here. And this is how the card looks like. And this is going to be the back here. Um, whoop. So we do have some information on here. It is um, just a little bit plain, in my opinion. There's really not much going on here in the back. Um, all of these back here are basically like key issues or yeah, something relevant that, that happened here. Um, so you got something just does like this right there. Um, joins Iceman in new, newly formed team in Champions number one. So this is a pretty cool reference. If you are a comic book collector, um, you can hunt down some, some pretty notable keys associated with this character right here um let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, card stock there we are uh no not so much as the nice upper deck card stock that we have here um the cards in my opinion does feel just a little bit um a little cheap in my opinion it it doesn't have like this quality feel to it for for some reason um maybe it's just me I mean, it's not like horrible, but it doesn't feel like it's, um, I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't feel premium-ish, I guess, but, um, yep. So let's, let's go ahead and begin. Let's have a look at the uh, cards right here. Um, we're going to mainly focus on the, on the, uh, front of the uh, cards here. Maybe it'll help the uh, video go by just a little bit more quickly. The back doesn't have too much going on for it. Anyway, let's go ahead and begin. Number one, we got Angel right there. Two, we got Ant-Man. So this is pretty cool. A little, um, since this is Marvel 75th anniversary, um, you know, a little bit of the future mixed with the past right there, which is pretty nice as well. All right, we got um, Baron Strucker. So that's a pretty nice theme that, that we have going on for, um, for the set here. We got Beast. Once again, you know, he doesn't look quite blue back then and then in the later iterations of course he gets his little blue fur um you got betsy ross or betty ross you got red she hulk you got black bolt of the inhumans you got black cat very very nice right there you got black knight you got black panther uh, doesn't look like he uh, changed all that much. You got Black Widow, very very nice card as well. I do like how the um, how the template of this goes there. You got Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier. Um, I'd say very very nice upgrade to his later look there. You got Bullseye. Um, this re reminds me of uh, the Daredevil movie, which um, in my opinion wasn't that great, but you know. Guilty pleasure, it is so fun to watch in my opinion, you know. I think it's cool. You got Cable right there. Captain America, I mean aside just from little updates, he pretty much still looks um, relatively the same. Not much has changed. You got Captain Marvel right there. You got Captain Marvel, original Captain Marvel right there, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> you got Colossus. Once again, nice little update to his picture. And you got Cyclops right here. I do like the later iterations of Cyclops. Not this one, but kind of in the, um, what is that? The House of X, Power of X, the Hickman Run style drawing. This looks pre pretty cool though. I mean, classic size Cyclops. You, you can't beat classic Cyclops. That looks 
pretty dope. Got Daredevil. Oh, both these same issues right there. Daredevil. <clears throat> you got Dazzler. Deathlock. Got Doctor Doom. Doctor Octopus. Not much has changed with that guy as well. Got Doctor Strange. Nice little updates to his costume and whatnot. That, that looks pretty cool. You got Electro. Yeah. Just, you know, modernized. <clears throat> Sorry, throat's a little itchy today. You got Electro. Very, very nice. Emma Frost. I am a fan of this um, picture right here. That's cool. You got Enchantress. Falcon. I don't know how I feel about the uh, the deep V cut there, but I like I like this costume right there. But I don't know <clears throat> the early iterations with the deep V uh, seems a bit weird. But then again, every superhero costume seems a bit weird to me. Um, Galactus. You got Thunderbolt Ross, the Red Hulk. That's pretty cool. You got Ghost Rider. Got the Green Goblin. What is this? Could this be? Yep. Okay, so this is Norman Osborn. This isn't Harry. Green Goblin. You got Havoc. I like how they've changed his costume just a little bit. This to me right here, this this little headpiece seems a bit. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know how practical that, that would actually be as far as their costume is. Same goes for um, Hawkeye as well. I do like the uh, updated costumes. You got Hercules. Not much has changed looking like aside from just a little change in the headpiece. You got the Hulk. Looks pretty cool as well. You got the Human Torch. Iceman. You got Invisible Woman. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> so this one's always uh every time I look at this picture here, this uh pretty much for the time. I mean this is I don't know how you know the hairdo would fit in this, you know. <laughs> the hair is just a bit you know, for its time. I do like the modern um, drawings of uh, Susan Storm there. Man, Susan, you you came a long way. I think I think Susan Storm came a long way. You know, we had the very, very golden versions of uh, Invisible Woman. And then somehow in the early 90s, her costume got a bit, you know, over revealing. As we see in some of the previous sets there. But, you know, this is this is pretty cool. I do like like that one. Got Iron Fist. Iron Man. He came a long way as well. You know, from the uh, from the Mark One costume. Jean Grey. I like this one as well. Jean Grey is looking pretty cool in this um, costume right there. Um, she's still rocking the the Marvel Girl costume, but yeah, I do like um, I do like how they depict Jean Grey. You got Kazar. You got Kingpin, Loki, you got Magic, you got Magneto, looking like Boba Fett to me. I don't know. It's just uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I I do like the classic versions of Magneto. This to me looks a bit like Bo Boba Fett. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not too sure if that's what they were trying to go for, but again, you know, it is what it is sometimes. You got Mandarin, you got Mary Jane Watson, very, very nice. Looks, uh, you know, not, not much has, has changed, still the, you know, still looking the same there. Uh, Medusa, you got Moon Knight, that's a pretty cool Moon Knight looking card there. Mr. Fantastic. That's cool. You got Mystique. I do like how they 
started drawing Mystique in the later iterations. You got Namor. Looking, uh, this guy looks like a king right there. That right there. It's got that. This Namor's got swag. You know, looking like this guy looks like he rules at Atlantis. Yeah. You got Nick Fury. Nova. That's a cool Nova card. Richard Ryder. Okay, so Richard Ryder, the original Nova. Sam Alexander, the newer Nova. You got Odin. Odin Allfather. No, wait. What does this one say? Odin Borson. Oh, okay. Son, son of Bor. Pepper Potts. Got Polaris. That's cool. Power Man Luke Cage. We got Professor Xavier. So as we've seen um, in the later depictions of uh, Xavier here, obviously this is from 2014. You know he has this little weird helmet with a little X on there, but this is pretty cool. And as always, my favorite. Look at that. Look at that. Psylocke also came a long way as well, but. Man, this, this picture right there looks pretty cool. I have, you know, I must say. I love you, Psylocke. It is my, you know, I do love this character here. Also, you know, one of my favorites. And you can see some of her, you know, some of her notable issues there. You know, Captain Britain number 8, the first appearance of Betsy. And... Okay, so we got... So she dies in X Extreme X Men. Yeah. Again, always my favorite. Can't, can't beat Sila. <laughs> Punisher. We got the Quicksilver. Still rocking that same little V style hair. I wonder if that's if if that's there for a reason. You know, maybe it uh boosts his speed. The Red Skull. We got Rhino. We got Rick Jones A bomb. Looks pretty cool. You got Rogue. That's a nice looking Rogue card as well. Sabretooth. We got Scarlet Witch. Pretty nice. Let's have a look at Miss Wanda's uh, um, some notable issues right there. First appearance X Men number four is part of the Brotherhoods of Evil Mutants. March 1964. So this character goes way back. We got Shadow Cat. We got Shauna the She Devil. Very, 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 very nice. Yeah, you got She Hulk. You got Lady Sif. You got the Silver Surfer. Very, very cool. I don't know how much. Uh, you can actually change on the Silver Surfer's um, actual appearance. You got Speedball. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. That's pretty cool. Not much you can change with him either. Uh, Spider-Woman. Got Storm. Oh, fix that. We got The Thing. And Thor. We got Tigra. We got Uatu the Watcher. That looks pretty cool. We're gonna see him in uh, the upcoming Marvel What If. Pretty excited for that. Ultron. Valkyrie. Back to the Marvel What If. By the time this video drops, I believe the first episode should have already premiered on um, Disney+. Plus. Uh, Venom. This is uh, more of um, Flash Thompson, Agent Venom. Oh, U Eugene. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Flash Thompson. Eugene Thompson. So, I believe this is the... This would be Eddie Brock. The first uh, Venom. And then later iterations would be Flash Thompson. Pretty, pretty cool. We are almost done here. We got Vision. Looks like not much has changed from this Vision and the old style Vision. Aside from, um, you know, we had White Vision for a while. We got the Wasp. 
is the, the last card here. Last but not least, we have Wolverine. Very, very nice updates to his costume. I still don't know what the headpiece is for, but you know, with a very iconic Wol Wolverine um, cowl. I guess you can call it a cowl. That's cool. All right, and that is it as far as looking at the base set here. Let's go right back up. I'll give you guys um, my final thoughts, some ups, some downs as usual, and ultimately where I will place this on the Torx Crew tier list. Once again, I'll see you guys right back up there. And that was a look at the Marvel 75th anniversary set from Rittenhouse. Just a couple ups and downs, as always, uh, to point out here with, with the set here. Let's go ahead and uh, pull a couple cards here so I can show what I'm talking about here. A um, couple of the negatives here. Um, it's it's pretty weird. Um, the card sock, I mean, it, it's not flimsy as it looks, but then once you hold it inside your hand, it doesn't feel like the previous sets here. I mean, it does have a nice little gloss going, like a gloss effect there, but... Um, oh, for some reason it doesn't feel sturdy. Maybe that's just me, but it does feel just a little um, on the cheap end. But it's not like it's um, it's not like it's horrible. But for me, that's just um, how it feels in like how it feels in the hands. You know, like it um, it doesn't feel like the previous sets that we look at. I don't know. That's just me. Um, one thing to be aware of. With this set here, um, you guys can see. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that into focus right there. Um, so, originally when I first saw this um, set here, I thought that the let's see if we can um, see that right there. I thought like this outside right here was like foil, but it's it's not, which is you know it's not foiled at all, but yeah just uh something to look at when you are you know scouring the marketplaces for some of these sets here the outside bordering of the template it looks like it's supposed to be shiny but um it it isn't for some reason i mean i mean again this is just just the base um the base set here um other than that, that is one. Of, that is, you know, one of the negatives I just have here. I mean, not, not really too much to actually bash about this one. Oh, I mean, um, aside also from like the uh, the back of the card, it, you know, I wish that it was just a little bit more informative. You know, not not even like the pictures that that we see in the back there. It is very plain in the back, but. Nonetheless, it is um, it's a good resource for you know if you are a comic book uh, key key collector. I mean, obviously now you can just scour the internet here, but if you look at some some of these trading cards here, it is a nice little resource to actually have once you're scouring through your cards, you know, and maybe you know pick up some of these key issues associated with these characters here. Um, on with the positives, I do. Um, I am a fan of this format right here. I do like um, because that this is a Marvel 75th anniversary that you know it it harkens to bring in the past and the present and totally going off in the other direction there the past and the present into you know the card there the templates fine I mean once again uh, there is no foiling on this but yeah the the templates okay Again, uh, the back probably could have had, you know, just a little bit more work done as far as um, how it looks back there. But yeah, I am a fan of how the uh, set um, on the front here looks like. Yeah, once again, um, the images, I believe they're not original art. They are pulled from, um, what is that? Comic book I images is what I can think of um, for this set. But, you know, nonetheless, still a great set to add to your collection. Um, the price on these is not expensive. If, you're, if, if you were just trying to achieve the base set here, that's another positive here um, for the base set. Um, yeah, trying to acquire these is not overly expensive. So, you know, great looking um, front, front card mixed with, uh, you know, a nice little price point there. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice way to... Um, add this to your collection ultimately once again where i should put this on my tier list i feel i mean 
it's a it's a, it's an average set here the uh you know the glaring negative of, of the back being, being just a bit plain um kind of brings the set down a bit but the front of the card i mean the uh the portraits of the past and present um portraits i mean that's a pretty cool concept but um this to me is pretty much just an average set here this will stay on my c tier as far as where it belongs in my tier list now this set does have you know um a nice rainbow of um parallel sets here uh those ones might be foiled i haven't had a chance to actually get any of those subsets in in my hand or the i'm sorry the parallel sets in my hand here i'll go ahead and flash some images right here um to let you guys know what i'm talking about here um there is a sapphire set i believe there's an emerald set that is limited to a hundred serial, serial number to a hundred and there is a diamond set which pretty much looks like this but i'm thinking that's the one that looks a bit foiled but you have those um i'll go ahead and flash more of the other um subsets that are associated with this set here there is a pretty unique subset that is tied to this set and i believe it, it all came out in 2014 but um it is also labeled marvel 75th anniversary but those ones are pretty rare I'll show a nice little example picture right up here about what I'm talking about. The template is is totally different, but those ones uh, are serial serial number to serial number to 75. Um, there's 75 cards in that base set, which is spread across three different series sets. If that makes sense. So basically, um, example which I guess I can give is. These cards are different, um, they are very hard to find in just one set, they are spread out across three different um, sets. All, I believe that it is all within the 2014 sets um, of the written, the written House era. Um, but those ones are pre pretty cool, but extremely rare and kind of hard to put together because I think those are like one in... Uh, like 144 packs I think it was so yeah but nonetheless again that set's cool um, yep you know what that is it that is all I have for this video here um, next week let's have a look at um, let's do let's do women of Marvel for next week for next week's video let's do the women of Marvel series 1 and then follow that up with women of Marvel series 2 and maybe we can end off on our little written house era run after that unless you guys want to do dangerous divas you guys uh i do have that but it is a bit weird because um the cards are landscaped um i don't have dangerous divas series 2 yet so yeah there is that to look forward to um stay tuned for sunday august 15th the mid-month mail drop um that that video comes up that's gonna be really 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 fun to actually um get into that video there that video might be just a little bit long um there is a lot of comic books that um that came in because uh i figured i started reading a lot more comic books and i blow through whatever i picked up pretty quickly so all of those have been sitting there for a bit so i did want to you know beef up my comic book collection as well um, with that being said uh, before we sign out here once again thank you to all the new um, subscribers all the current watchers who have tuned into to this channel here if you're watching once again right down below go ahead and hit the little red subscribe button um, help support the channel um, thumbs up the video on your way out comment right down below let me know what you guys think about this set here um, you know just comment about um, anything drop a hi <clears throat> You guys can say, uh, you know, I wasn't pleased with this set here or something crazy like um, you guys can, you know, say like uh, Marvel QFX is the best set of all time. Change my mind. You know, something, something crazy like that. I'm not saying that. Ah, well, you know, <laughs> that sounds pretty par for the course. Anyway, once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys back here next week. As always, you guys have a good one. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. I'll see you guys.